good to see you back for uh, a second season in charge of the resis. And uh, what's um, what was your highlight of last season with the resis? It was it was one big highlight for me. Just really enjoyed the opportunity to do it, uh, working with a great bunch of lads. Um, so yeah, the, the season as a whole was just, uh, an overall highlight. I suppose if we're going to look at an individual performance, we can't look any further than the 2-0 win away at Maidenhead. Um, really difficult circumstances going over there. Really young squad that we travelled with, and um, they were unbeaten in the league. And yeah, we managed managed to keep a clean sheet and obviously score two goals and walk away with like, a very important three points. So yeah, if it was one particular game, I would say it was that performance. And uh, I mean, you, you generally had a, a good season, didn't you? Finishing sixth. Is that um, what you hoped for, or a little bit uh, under what you hoped for? I mean, my initial my initial thoughts were to obviously come in and try and improve on the season before, which you know, fortunately we did. Um, I looked at the league table from the previous season and it didn't make good reading. So there's a few areas that you know we, I wanted to improve on. Um, we finished, it sounds you know, a little bit silly, but we finished with plus goals as well, which is always positive. Um, and I think we actually finished six over seventh and eighth because we'd scored more goals than the teams around us, which is you know really positive as well. Um, at times we probably you know we was in good positions to finish finish further up the table. We lost some stupid matches realistically against teams with no disrespect to anyone, but the teams we really should have been beating on our day. Um, so yeah, I, I was really happy with sick, and I know the players were quite quite happy with their efforts as well. And uh, obviously you were the first from Binfield to actually uh, face Luke Williams. He uh, pretty much did a job on us, didn't he, in the Intermediate Cup? Um, yeah, I mean Luke's class. Everyone has seen that in the short space of time that he's been at the club. Um, I've been warned about him prior to the game by Tal. I know Tal sort of, um, you know, watched Luke a few times prior to actually playing against us, and we made provisions to try and double up against him. We put my usual right back at right wing. Another really, really quick right back player or centre back at right back, and he tore us to shreds. Absolutely tore us to shreds. There was nothing we could have done that day um, to, to stop the guy. And hopefully his performance against us, and obviously I'm putting a bit of a glowing reference about his performance against us to you know to tell when he asked. And um, hopefully you know despite losing nine one as we did on the day, uh, it worked in the club's favour by gaining such a such a valuable member to the first team squad. Absolutely, I don't think there's uh, too much shame in getting uh, turned, torn apart by uh, Luke, is it? No, not at all. So, um, this season, looking ahead, have you uh, got uh, most of the squad back together? or you? Yeah, um, I've had a really positive response, actually. Um, biggest biggest problem we had last year was obviously as a new manager coming in, um, you know, players, obviously a bit, well, it's hard to say, but I mean, players... Um, wasn't too sure of me. I didn't really know much about them, and it took at least eight games to gel. Um, you, you're fully aware of the start of the season that we had, and yeah, it was it was really difficult to start to the season, uh, which made me question my own ability to do the job. Um, but as the season went on, as the players got to know one another, we turned out some brilliant performances, even in games that we lost. Um, even Maidenhead, last game of the season lost 1-0 to a side that's now playing in Division 1 East this forthcoming season. So it goes to show how good a side they are and we put in a good performance. You know, so as the season went on and the team gelled, we, you know, the performances come together and now we've got a whole summer to work with that same squad of players. Roughly about 95% of the players are coming back for pre-season and I can't wait to get my teeth into the season and get working with the same players again. I guess he suffered slightly, like um, all reserve teams do, with uh, losing Ash to the first team when Dan got injured. And uh, obviously he, he did great in the first team, but it was a big loss for him. Kind of yeah. Started with a slump. Yeah, it did. It did. I mean, as a as a reserve manager, you got to expect expect that you know potentially going to happen to you. Ash was a huge player for us last year. Um, players voted. In numbers for him, uh, he got the, the players player of the season, so it just goes to show how important he was to us. He was also my captain as well, and you know we, we were sort of relying on an outfield player in Tom Williams, who'd done a really good job to to sort of fill the gap as such. And Charlie Lusty come in and played one game, a uh, difficult game away to Highworth, who were <laughs> runaway champions at the stage. So it was difficult, but hopefully you know going forward we'll make provisions for that this season and make sure that we don't get caught in that same predicament again. And talking to Charlie, stepping up from the Allies, you had um, three or four of Sandy's players, didn't you, uh, step up, including your eventual player of the season, Tarek? Yeah, I mean, 
last season, uh, sort of Sandy's help sort of was absolutely superb. You know, he was he was always on hand to sort of offer a player and call around and help me out in at times of need when you know when players were required. Um, th- th- yeah, the four. I'd say there was three three outstanding players that, that came up and played regularly: Jordan Rowland, Tarek, and Jake Butler. And then you know the odd player here and there. I think we used about ten in total, but the three that I've just named to come up, and they will be with us from day one of pre-season this year. I've asked Sandy if I can take them from the first pre-season session because they need to get themselves seen around. You know the likes of Mark and, and Keith and Richard. Make sure they're you know putting their names forward in, in front of the first team management as, as well as myself. So looking forward to working with those and you know all of the allied lads over the course of the season. And uh, we spotted your uh, secret tactic around about January when you were struggling for goals. Just uh, stick out on Facebook that you haven't got a striker, mm-hmm. and then suddenly uh, your striker who's been there all along scores nine in yeah. eleven games or something. Yeah, he, he had a great end to the season. Um, I think I mean, just touched upon it on my uh, end of season presentation. I think he'd scored two goals up until March. And as you say, about I think it was about nine goals in eleven games. Um, but his contribution, Connor Reeves' contribution prior to that, you know, I never doubted his ability and what he gave to the team. But strikers are there to score goals and they're judged on their goals, you know, goals to game ratio. And once he started banging them in, he, he became, you know, a more of a complete striker. But he, he's always been capable of that. Um, I certainly think it was a confidence thing, um, and that he's another reason why I'm so looking forward to this season because everyone in the team knows how he likes to play, and I'm confident that if he hits the ground running, you know, sort of early on in the season, that you know, there's no reason why he couldn't push himself in, into the first team fold and not be one of the top goal scorers in our division at the same time. So uh, back into pre-season in uh, just a few days. Are you looking forward to that? Ed? Yeah, I am. Um, it was a long old season, especially especially towards the end of last year. In April, when I was playing two games a week, struggling to get 11 players at times. So the break's been welcome. Um, but I know the lads are itching to go. The season kicks off a lot earlier for us this year, on the 13th of August, as compared to you know last year and the year before. Um, so it's important, as you know, it's vital that all the players, from a reserve perspective, are turning up on the 30th of June. Um, looking forward to it. I'm sure Bosey will have some great sessions planned, and you know, in order to compete next year, in order to be at the right end of the table, we need to make sure you know we're one of the fittest teams in the league because that that will win us a game. You know, games alone off, I really do feel that. Well, uh, well done on a good first season in charge, Ed, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing uh, more success this year. Let's hope so.